Hi Jonathan, thank you for coming into Capo to talk to us today. We host Air United, the league leaders at Capo on Saturday. Can I just get your thoughts going on the match, please? I think it's going to be another tough test. Uh, we've been watching Air United and, and uh, they play good football, they're confident side at the moment. Uh, they play direct, but uh, you know all the basic basics in the football is, is, is very, very good. And um, that's why they've been getting success so far. Uh, you can see in the cup run as well, they beat Dundee away from home with, with, with three goals. And, and yesterday we watched them you know, get their rewards by playing at Arbok. So, so it's a side full of confidence. It's a side that, that, um, that are doing well. So it's, we, 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 we have, to be, have to be careful. But I also think after last week, I think it's the most important thing is, is our own game. And uh, that's what we're concentrating uh, mostly this week. We've been concentrating on our own shape and, and, and our own play. You mentioned you watched Air United last night against Rangers. Did you learn much from that game? Uh, you always learn a little bit. It was different because uh, they were also sitting in. Uh, but it showed how disciplined they are in a 4-4-2, 4-4-1-1 defensively. Uh, work well as a team. Uh, you know They're aggressive, uh, good at picking up second balls. and, and um, They are very direct and, and uh, you know on the, on the counter-attacks. Uh, obviously, it was difficult for them at Ibrox against a, against a very good side. So. You'll know all about Lauren Shankland. He scored a lot of goals this season. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, as I said, with strikers, it's a lot to do with confidence and sharpness. And at the moment, he looks to have both. Uh, I remember watching him as a as a young player at Queens Park, you know. And and I think now he's he's uh, he's uh, started to fulfil his promise. And and uh, he looks uh, looks leaner and fitter this season, I think. And and uh, and uh, someone that that we obviously are aware of and need to to watch out for. And uh, and uh, but as I said from the beginning. All teams have good players, and it's about uh, about our own game this week. It's your second consecutive home game. There was disappointment surrounding the performance on Saturday. Will you be looking for a significant improvement, and will you be tempted to make changes from the uh, last game? I think we we look for an improvement. Uh, you know, everybody was uh, agreeing after the game that uh, it wasn't good enough in possession, especially in our own game. I think we defended the box well enough. I don't think. L watching watch the game back a couple of times, I don't think they created that many clear cut chances. But it was our own game in possession that was poor, and uh, something we've been working at and talked about. So, so uh, uh, I'm always open for changes, but it has to be the right changes and, and uh, you know the right formation. Uh, uh, but I think it's all the basics that we need to get right as well, uh, which 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 is good. And but not just the one with the ball; it's everybody else needs to work hard to get on the ball and. and uh, and uh, that's what we've been doing, and, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if I make make any change. You're talking about um, looking at the game. You went through a video session with the players at the beginning of the week. Yeah. Yeah. We usually work to to. We have two video sessions a week. One about our performance from last week. Then it's about uh, the opponents. So we we starting here United today, and then uh, tomorrow is just a wee short recap about about uh, about the week, and and uh, we'll be ready for the game. And uh, you know the players will 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 be ready for the game. In terms of your reflections on the game, Jonathan, have they changed much since maybe your immediate feeling after the match and after watching the video back? Had it changed much since then? Our the filming game. Yes. Uh, not that much. I, I, I think it. I, I felt during after the game that they've had much more possession than us and, and much more chances. But statistically, we 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 had as many chances. We actually had one more. And it was almost fifty-fifty in possession. So, you know, you're almost a little bit critical. But 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 looking back, it was, it was our own game. That I said, I come back to it. It was our own possession. Uh, they pressed us really well. The uh, They surprised us a little bit with uh, the been been a team that wants possession. And now they went more hard to beat and and let us have the ball and impressed us, uh, which which caused us problems. Uh, and, with, and as I said, it's that is the main thing for me to get right. Also, the team shape. I felt in the second half and we kept losing the second balls because we weren't in the right positions and we, we were dropping too deep and and, and uh, the spaces between the lines were too too big. So all of those things we've been we're working in, and uh, uh, no matter what system you play, if these things are not uh, not right, you're gonna you're gonna struggle. You mentioned uh, possession there, mm -hmm. shots on target, statistical analysis. Is that something you're quite big on as a manager, looking at statistics? Uh, not really. I think I think I'm not that. Big on it. I always look at it because, you know, sometimes you see something that that you otherwise wouldn't have. Uh, but I think it's 
I'm a very much a you know one that that look at players and look at players' performance and then how they fit in in systems and formations, and and I take it from there. And also, of course, what the opponents do. Uh, but sometimes it's good to have a when you're ne you know negative after a game. If you like, it's, it's good to look through these things and and see if there's something you're mi missing or is there's a pattern emerging at certain areas of the pitch and that. So so I always have a have a look at it, but it's not something I I bring to the players very often. Uh, looking at the injury situation, there was some good news from Jack Iredale that he yeah. went, underwent an x-ray, there was no break in his hand, but is he potentially still out? Do you know at the moment? We've been protecting him this week, he's been playing with a protective bandage if you like, and then there was no breaks, he had actually two x-rays because he was in a lot of pain, there was a lot of swelling. Uh, so he is one that, that's been training without really any that much contact, so uh, we'll make a decision on him tomorrow. And, uh, and uh, the same uh, goes with Chris Miller. Uh, he's been back in training, uh, training, you know, with the first team. But but uh, you know, someone we've been keeping a close eye on, and, and someone will make a, a late decision. On. Any other n injury news at all, Jonathan? Just uh, Conor Bell and, and, and Robert Thompson is obviously still out, and uh, these two will 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 monitor. There was other news today. Was Lou Strap and Rory Langan have gone on loan to Annan Athletic? Yeah, I think it's very important that you don't lose sight on, on, on player development and young player development. Uh, I think it's very, very important. And it was something that we were look, looking to do. And I think Anna will be a, a tough test for them and, and it will be a, a good standard football that they're going to play. We don't want to lose these two players. Uh, it's about us watching them in, in uh, sort of action in a lot of games in a tough league, you know, with physical league and see how they do. And I hope they come back, uh, you know, uh, Stronger and better players in January uh, when we can have a, you know, them back in our squad and and, and be ready, for, more ready for the first team. I think it's an important step to. It's, it's difficult sometimes to jump from academy football straight to, to championship. So I think uh, it's important that they go on loan and and, uh, and uh, you know play under pressure and, and play in a in a physical league. One final thing was Lico Day became a dad last Friday. I'm sure you want to offer your congratulations to you. Definitely, we had. Uh, Everybody was so happy for him, and and uh, it uh, he he missed a couple of days training last week because uh, uh, his wife was was in labour for a while, and, and uh, we were all extremely pleased for Lee, and, and it's his first first baby, so so uh, to welcome his baby daughter into the Morta family, and also shows how what a professional he was. You know, he was uh, for me on Friday, and uh, quite soon after said that he's desperate to play and he's fit to play, and and uh, you know he showed again. I thought the back four did well on, on Saturday uh, and I think Lee did, did fantastically well so very pleased for him. Excellent Jonathan, thank you very much for your time and good luck against the air here at Capital on Saturday. Thank you, cheers.